Okay, so we have a ton of divers, right? We have a lot going on today. Yeah, today we got two DSDs, three or four regular, no, maybe five regular fun divers. And then we got uh, Michael and our other dive master at going to Apple Island. We got an open water, patty open water. The rescue in advance, they finished yesterday, right? And then two refresher dives. And then we also have the oh, your, rescue your sister. Course. Yeah. Your sister's doing a DSD with our other instructor. <laughs> so uh, super busy day. And we just had a huge Valentine's dinner last night. I think there was 80. 80, 80, 80 sold out. Yeah. So super busy. And then here's Mark. Hmm? Critter hunter. Princess, try dive. What do you have to say? Um, I'm ready to do it. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. She, we said welcome to scuba because she said the uh, putting on the wetsuit was the hardest thing she's ever done. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. She said welcome to every morning of our lives. <laughs> like three times a day. Oh, I like how we can just like see our faces in this. Yeah, it's still, it's still recording. Look. <laughs> All right, get. Okay. Where's your instructor? transition? <laughs> no, it's still on. You're supposed to go like this. Bye. Testing out some old regs because. How's that one? That thing's about two grand, so I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I know. This, this is a really nice one. I really like this one. I'm ready. <sighs> Yeah. What happened? What happened to your pink fans? Done. Where is it? I mean, I'm like trying to get it for me. Why? <laughs> She's hiding your fans because you're trying to eat all the sea urchins. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't be diving. Sir Gary, Gary's going to Tubataha with us. In April. Yeah, jealous. <laughs> we need like 20 more of these yeah, back plate, back plate and harnesses, huh? This one uh, fit it to him. To him or her? Both. Fits? Yeah. And it fits? Yeah. Maybe through. That's why I love these back plates because uh, it fits tiny people and giant people. We just adjust all of them. Then I don't have to buy 40 sizes. What are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for investor. <laughs> We never have enough dive computers. I'm coming. Good luck. It works. It's a good one. It's all charged. You. Man. I see all these divers and I just want to be in the water. But I'm in the office and talking to people all day and editing videos and paying taxes and answering 50 emails every morning. But look at these guys. Doing their open water skills and their DSDs. How'd it go? It's so easy. I told you. It's so easy squeezy. <laughs> You've been scared for all this time for nothing. Guys, I'm the next master diver. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. All right. It's so hot when it's, uh, when you're the one not in the water. All right, Judea, what are you doing? Trying to look for something. Looking for something. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some new BCDs in, backplate harness BCDs. Um, and I got to wait 20 more minutes. So we got another group of divers showing up to dive with Alex. Yo, 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 everybody. I just got finished with my try dive and I'm about to go to the ocean. You know, you're not supposed to wear your mask like that. Freaking snorkel dork. I'm so excited! <laughs> well, you put it on my truck. Yeah, because this is celebrating. Uh, oh my Valentine's god! Day. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. What what dive site are you going to now? El Dorado. Uh, we go at El Dorado. Your name there is Luca. At your dive site. Okay, El Stingrays. Stingrays with both party Stingrays. And we got three divers with you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will be two meters. How far is that? How many uh, meters? Two meters, <laughs> just like uh, it's not much. Yeah, 30, oh, okay. 30 feet like that. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the camera, and after she's comfortable and everything, you can take a couple of little clips. Yep. All right. 
Sure. Not you. How'd it go? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah? Right, how'd they do? Don't worry about what we do. Right, how'd they do? They did great. They did? Yeah, first time back in. Excellent. Their last dive was in Alaska, so. <laughs> that is a lot different than I think Alaska. it's a little a little different. You don't even need a wetsuit. You know, over half an hour dive time just get back in. We uh, stayed at 18 meters for... I bet it's a little bit different. Better visibility than Alaska. Yeah. A little warmer probably. A little bit. I wouldn't know. Oh, there's Princess. If I'm diving in Alaska, somebody's taking me hostage. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah. And I'm there against my will. Exactly. How's your dive? It's good. It's great. Uh... It's good and great. I don't remember what I saw. I think I that's because we, you were guiding. I think we were in the water. Well, that's nice to be thinking that. Yeah, I think so. How'd Princess do? I don't know. She looks uh, alive and well. She's at least alive. Let's go to see. I gave him a camera. <laughs> Let's go see if they survive. Fat turtle. <laughs> What'd you see? A fat turtle. <laughs> you saw a turtle? Yeah. So how do you like diving? It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, not so scary? No, it's not that scary. Nice. Well, you saw a turtle and uh, you didn't die. That's always... That's a win. Then we got the big... Something shell, we call it here in Butchung. What is it? Butchung. A shell? A big shell that you... Oh yeah, I like. I look at the shell. And he was like, no! No, no! Why are you allowed to touch them? Huh? Why are you not allowed to touch them? Uh, they, they don't like you. You're not allowed to touch anything underwater. Yeah, I don't touch. It might, it might, it might try to murder you. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I was like, "What's this?" And he was like, "No." no. <laughs> You're just like my wife trying to eat every fish. <laughs> like this looks yummy. Uh, All right, go dry. Super stoked. Oh, she, she thought uh, she thought it was a giant rock. And it was yeah. a giant turtle. Yeah, he pointed. He was because there was like a bunch of clusters of rocks, and he was pointing. He was like, look, look. And, it, and it was like, what the heck? It's, a rock. it's a rock. And there was a big turtle like right in the middle. I didn't even see it because it let's, wasn't moving. Let's see if we got some footage. Second dive. We got to do another dive now. Yeah, there's uh, that that big group's doing their second dive. So, doing some uh, last last minute dive master skills, huh? Lance Wakong, our dive master, is uh, helping, and Mark. Can't even see you, Mark. He's over there hiding. Yeah. Swim test, his favorite, his favorite of the time, huh? That's how it goes, dive master students. So we have a bunch of uh, students here for the uh, for the restaurant and the hotel. They're basically on the job training. I think that's what they're called, OJT students so we got like 10 or 20 uh waitresses cleaners housekeepers Hi uh here from the high school because they want a job in the tourism industry yeah so we give them like on the job training and a good reference if they want to uh get a job at a resort or somewhere or a lot of them want to go on a cruise ship Man, my little car is really getting abused. My big truck is off with another group of divers. We have another group diving here out front. And then another group in my big truck, my big dive truck. So this little car, we only have two divers on the dive master. Uh, <laughs> but they're really abusing my truck, my little van. It's waterproof, but no AC in this thing. Uh, this thing was... Uh, it's a little beater car, luckily, because I never thought we would use it for divers when I built my other big truck, but just too busy. Alright, man. 
we finally got a little break and uh, we can go do a night dive. It's a little bright out. We're gonna wait till about 6.30, maybe 7, and uh, go out with the cameras with a couple other guests as well, but I'll be filming just to see what we can see and show you guys. So uh, let's get geared up and go do a night dive. So I'm not sure why, but these pleurobranks are everywhere out here at night, running around in the grass and little herds. These guys are huge, about the size of a dinner plate. And I don't think they're true nudibranch because they don't have those naked gills in the back, but they're definitely related. You can always kind of count on these being seen out in the grass or in the sands out front of the dive shop here at night. Another thing you can be guaranteed to see are these hermit crabs. All kinds of sizes from huge to medium ones like this and then little tiny ones. But these are everywhere in the sand. So I'm not sure what this is called. It's some little reef fish. But I like to film them at night because they're always sleeping and they aren't shy. These same fish during the day are really skittish and don't let you film them. So at night it's like free game. So Alex told me he saw one of these the night before, so I really wanted to find it. And sure enough, he found the Circe again. These things are big and strange, unique nudibranchs, and they're called Circes. But you might notice they kind of look like walking rose petals. These things are kind of rare here. I only see them certain times a year, and never during the day, only at night but they're so unique looking, I love filming them. Of course, my other divers were taking photos as well, but eventually I finally got to sit there and try to get some shots of these awesome looking rose petals on its back that are technically called serrata. Another thing I really wanted to see that I haven't seen in probably six months is the candy crab. I've been searching in their homes because I know where they live, but I haven't seen one all year. They're pretty seasonal. But last night, Alex said he found one, so tonight we went and searched again, and sure enough, there it was. These guys are true masters of camouflage, as you can see. They blend in perfectly with their homes, these weird soft corals. I love these guys. They're just so photogenic and awesome looking. But like I said, they're not the easiest to find. They're not here year round. So when they are, I definitely take some time to sit there and try to film them. A crustacean that is way more common are these sexy shrimp. These things are everywhere. I think they're technically called anemone shrimps, but you can find them all year round everywhere in the ocean. These guys, if I get bored or I have nothing to film, I can go find about a hundred of these just about anywhere. They're like the go-to, and let's face it, they're a little bit fun to watch as well. It's frogfish season, I'm pretty sure, because they're starting to be here everywhere. We probably saw six just on this dive, and this one was a little bit unique looking, so I had to show you guys. He was tiny as well, you can see the little grains of sand there. Maybe the size of a BB from a BB gun. Next to him, not far away, was a giant hairy frogfish. And if you look at his stomach, he obviously just ate something. <laughs> this guy could barely walk. But you can see why these guys are famous and why they're called the hairy frogfish. This is definitely a favorite for photographers and underwater videographers. And as for frogfish, a lot more rare than the other ones we see. We always see giants or clowns or painted frogfish, but the coveted one is this hairy frogfish. So once we see it, word gets around and everybody lines up to try to find and film it again. This guy was also an awesome orange color, which normally when we find them, they're usually a tan or brownish color. This one was super photogenic. And I just got to sit there and get some 4K footage of this beauty. Of course, 
just like the sexy shrimp, these porcelain crabs are all over as well. They're either on anemones or sea pins or whatever, but they're pretty shy. But for some reason, during this night dive, this guy let me sit there and film him for quite a while. So I used the snoot and just lit him up on the stage like a little ballerina. 